Alana, our new daughter-in-law, finally got to come down and bubble watch on the Aristocat charter with Kyle and me. I asked her to take some videos during the day. Come back up. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. I haven't strapped the, the PC. These turn on automatically, but I like to turn them on either. Good right. luck, Dan. All right. Maybe look right up. I'll be back in about a minute. Okay. And, and the direction is north. Yes. Yeah. See you in a minute. It looks pretty darn good. Oh, yeah. down. It's good enough. It's six, six to seven. Oh, that's great. It's murky, yeah. it's murky but it's six to seven. Yeah. yeah. You can see, I can see you about 16 feet down. Yeah. See you about back at 930. channel. Oh, there you go. Footage for the video. Hey, Dan. Thank you for coming in 2023. <laughs> he did. We're on it, Dan. Good luck, Tom. Yee! Mid-2023. Is the water warmer than the air? Yeah, it's, fine. It's, bad. it's not bad. Yeah. I mean, once you hit, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine right now. It's not bothering me at all. Kyle, uh, you got a compass? You do. Okay. I'm up north no matter what, over that way. Alright. Is there a certain direction we're heading? Yeah, west. West? west. Very close, okay? Keep Good job getting back, Kyle. I was following the best, you know. <laughs> Just following Dan around. Who's right? Did you see there's a diver right next to you, right? What's that? Right there. Right here. I thought that was your diver. I thought you and Dan were together, but we, we were. We found the we found the rope and uh I think he was telling me it was just come up at like 300 or 350 feet. Oh, so that's whatever. Dan right there then, and that's Brett then. Okay. Yeah, that should be him right there. Okay. He'll run it down to like 10 and come up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Remember your lights on, Kyle, when you come up. Oh, yeah. Forget about that for sure. Another diver named Lisa found this pathogenic meg tooth. It has a very curved edge to one side of the blade, which makes it uh, much more unusual. And on another dive, another diver found a pocket of three meg teeth where I was in the same area and I just came up with a zilch. But on the second to the last day of diving, I couldn't find my ring. And I looked everywhere, the apartment, the boat, everywhere. And finally it turned up after I got home, somewhere in my wife's diving gear. I thought I had lost it forever, a 48 year old wedding band. I was so thankful to have found it. I think finding the ring made up for a lot of not finding a lot of really big megs on this trip. <laughs> 